Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays Nuclear Throne. According to Throne, but we were top 25% yesterday. Not exactly a great performance. We got a couple of hours uh, into the daily today, and it looks like we're going to be steroids, which is good. I gotta be honest with you, I've been playing a lot of Nuclear Throne today, and you'd expect that to possibly end in a heartwarming story, but it doesn't. It ends in mostly, oh geez, the controller almost fell off there. I'm not using the controller to play Nuclear Throne. Don't get all, you know, up in arms about this. That's not the reason I've been playing badly. I've just been playing badly. Like, some really, really bad Nuclear Throne play lately. We missed out on, like, one rad there, but that wouldn't have made too much of a difference. But I'll admit, Steroids is a good person to play as. I wanted to make sure that before I finished that sentence, we actually lived. Because I was kind of trapped in it, and I was like, well, we could try to walk out, or I could just hope for the best. So let's uh, use uh, our bullet weapon as our secondary, but also we'll use that most often, and then our primary here will be the laser pistol so we can stack up as much energy as possible. Laser pistol machine gun is actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna, you know, go down to the next floor. I'm gonna try to employ, yeah, Eagle Eyes is very essential here. Let me unloop this controller here. Um, Eagle Eyes is something that I'm definitely gonna pick up, but I think I may end up skipping the weapons chest here, if I can do it anyway. My reasoning being, I actually have a really, really nice loadout, a comfortable loadout that I can choose to roll with for quite some time without finding myself in, in too much trouble. So why don't we try to take advantage of that by, by picking up some uh, better weapons from a more advanced weapons case. Man, I gotta really, really stop walking into the bullets as the enemies shoot them. Like, if there's a chance to dodge, we gotta take that chance. You know what? I'm thinking we take the bolts instead of the machine gun. But I still do want to ignore the weapons case if we can avoid it. We're gonna get dangerously close to level 4 as well, which is awesome. Okay, we got another mutation coming. Mm -hmm. Strong Spear is an easy pick. And we got a nice little uh, one-two punch here. You gotta admit, and with steroids, we got all automatic weapons. So the laser pistol we don't have to click for, the crossbow we don't have to click for. Basically, it's not quite the same as having like an auto crossbow or an auto laser pistol, which as far as I know, it doesn't even exist in the game. Maybe the laser pistol is already uh, auto, depending on, or ir irrespective of the character you're playing as. But it's close-ish. Closer than it would be if I was clicking all the time anyway. We are going to have to worry about ammo-related issues. This is what I was hoping for here. We got a shovel, a flame shotgun, and a pop rifle. I really like uh, Flame Shotgun, and I think we're going to use that as our primary. I really like Double Flame Shotgun, but I think we're going to use Flame Shotgun as our primary for now, so we'll keep... I really thought I clicked there. We'll keep Bolts as our secondary, because I think we're going to be using a lot of shells. And we have another mutation coming right up. Uh, this is going to carry us pretty well through the next section of the game. We have Strong Spirit, so uh, a Bloodlust pickup would be awesome. I'll admit that Rabbit Paw is so good, but I've been a little excited by the fact that uh, we actually have the homing bolts that have shown up, which admittedly does not give us more drops. That's pretty much the, the crux of uh, the rabbit paw meta. However, we will need less drops as a result of the fact that we're not gonna, you know, shit the bed on ammo, probably, because we'll be killing multiple enemies with the same bow, or at least an enemy with every bow. Pretty lucky to live there. We didn't get that weapons case, which actually might be a blessing in disguise. And this way we can we can roll the crossbow a little bit more reliably. I thought that might work. And then keep the flame shotgun as like, um, you know, a, a bit more spammable, perhaps. Or if we find ourselves in a kind of tricky area, then we can use that a little bit more productively, maybe. Uh, I would like the rads. Come on. There we go. I want the rads, but I don't want the weapons case. That was one easy way to make that happen. I thought we would actually be done there. We have IDPD, though, showing up, so we should be prepared for this. Lucky me. I think that this is actually a really, really good loadout. That was very dangerous. Homing bolts with steroids is super good. The only thing that I like more than, like, homing bolts crossbow with steroids is homing bolts two crossbows with steroids. And one of them being, like, an auto or a super or a heavy or something like that. Um, that gives us a huge ability to really steamroll a lot of the game, actually. We just hold down both buttons. Bloodlust, Strong Spirit, obviously uh, feeds into that pretty strongly as well. No second stomach yet, but relatively minor problem. And again, like I, I feel like we can get away with not opening these weapons cases because we, quite frankly, don't need to open these weapons cases. You know, we have... Um, 
we have knowledge of, of what's going to happen here. We can just stand back and, you know, use the flame shotgun, or we can shoot in some, some crossbow bolts occasionally. I'm trying to keep a good mix because we have uh, good ammo for both of them. There's some kind of laser weapon there. I thought maybe there's a rad chest we might be able to get to, but apparently not. Okay. Plus 20 energy, though. I think it was a lightning pistol, which I don't really want. Yeah. Starting to get decent at recognizing those, at least. So what's my secret here? Jesus. Um, my secret here is alternate! Alternate! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. That was our warm-up, but still. Holy crap, that was abysmal. One spider just bodied the crap out of me. I'm telling you guys, like my nuclear throne mojo is way off. I need a big win today. Totally fucking up a warm-up run. You know, life goes on. But I need a, I need a morale booster, and I'm hoping... This long ass key tunnel here is not that morale booster. Tell you, I'm getting my butt kicked lately, and uh, you know you can only have that happen so many times before you start to you start to believe you're never gonna get back to the top, or at least close-ish to the top, as I have been on uh, some occasions. Um, we are at least getting a mutation here, and strong spirit is a great baseline. What am I thinking here? Uh, admittedly. Melee as uh, steroids is pretty subpar. So why don't we actually... It like, my, my brain won't let me drop the wrench. There we go. So now why don't we have uh, two bullet weapons? I actually think that, you know, two of the same type of weapon is awesome as steroids. It guarantees that you're only going to get uh, that type of weapon. Or, sorry, that type of ammunition. And we'll skip a couple weapons cases, and if we have the ability to later, yeah, I think Strong Spirit here is fine. If we have the ability to get, like, a, a double weapons chest later, we'll re-examine. But it's really going to be hard to get me to, uh, to get off of this track that we're on right now, because double bullet weapons is going to be pretty ammo efficient, even though we've lost a little bit here. I'm hoping it's going to be pretty ammo efficient anyway. Uh, if we get thrown butt, that'll probably help. And uh, it should be quite strong as well. Maybe, maybe we don't have to hold down both triggers all the time. We can just use the assault rifle for, for most of the damage in here. Did want to make sure that we got all the rads, though. We got a, a good amount of experience as well. Eh, we're not that low on ammo. It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Throne butt is awesome. I would want... If we're going to stick with something similar to this, we would want recycle gland as well. We got to kill a big rat, man. Yeah, we might want Recycle Gland as well. I mean, I, I, I'm learning to love Recycle Gland a little bit more as well. It's kind of becoming my my flavor of the week, if you will. I don't really want the weapons cases, man. Like, I've been trying to skip those for a little while here to pick up something else. Instead, we're going to get the disc gun. I, I guess I could have walked around the other way, but I actually thought that this was closed off. Pretty lucky there. I, I would like... <gasps> you sleazeball. Give me a little lick of the lips. I didn't want the lick of the lips. I wanted the ammunition. I, it's, I just noticed it too late. All right, let's not die. This is kind of a put up or shut up floor as a result of the fact that I'm on low HP. To some extent, as a result of my own inattentiveness. I don't want to say idiocy. That's a that's a defeatist word. Inattentiveness is something that we can do something about. Idiocy is something that's uh, non-rectifiable. Wow. Uh, so Strong Spirit is now gone. We really need medkits. The good news is we would expect to get some because we're hurt. Missed out on some rads. If we got a last wish it up, we got a last wish it up, man. It happens from time to time. That was like a shovel or something. No last wish coming. I think here we take patience, which scares the shit out of me, but... It's gotta be done. Thank you very much, game, for no fire traps, like, right in the middle here. I actually really sincerely appreciate that. That would have been a heartbreaker. Oh my lord. <laughs> I'm just... You know what? If we don't get any other rads on this level, I'm okay. I'm mostly just happy to have gotten out of there with my with my skin intact. Oh shit. But we're still... We're up. Oh, fudge, man. This game sometimes. Do I even... Oh, we get another choice here. Second stomach for sure. But we do have... Um, what's often the hardest floor, not even because of the boss, just because of the riffraff preceding the boss. I don't know about you guys, I'm actually a little amazed we're actually alive to begin with. 
I think we gotta go flame shotgun. And that's on me. I, I fucked around with our ammo a little bit too much. Don't shoot that car. Don't shoot the car. It's an important part of the cover that's here. So I don't quit the game. Nuclear throne that car. Okay, well, you know, they can't all be winners. <sighs> Where is a freaking med kit, though, dog? Have you ever considered asking yourself that question? Why am I not a med kit? This car is going to blow up real soon. There's a med kit. I can't risk it. I have to, but I can't. Got shells back. Thank you, thrown butt. He dropped a med kit! Life's good! More med kits? No more med kits. That's okay, though. We're at 6 HP. Gotta replace our, our uh, bullet weapon. We get two energy weapons might be interesting. What's the other one? Pop gun. That's a bullet weapon. Uh, the other one's hyper rifle in there. I don't, what do we have for bullets? We got two shotgun. We got a shotgun and a laser weapon. I think if we actually take recycle gland here, I know that rhino skin is gonna seem like the, the obvious choice, but I think if we take hyper rifle and like pop gun. And then recycle glands. We could actually do some good stuff. Laser cannon. What's the other one? Flak cannon. No, I think I think this is right. We might run into some ammo trouble. So it, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have the flame shotgun. We have scarier face as well, which is like pretty okay. Watch out for exactly that. Okay, I, I mean, I can live with this for now. I think this is better than the laser cannon or flak cannon choices. Where is this guy? So what screwed us last time? <laughs> what screwed us last time, hilariously enough, it was a great story, um, was that these freaking spider assholes... Is that... I thought I saw you shimmer and glow, my friend. Um, these spider assholes were too fast for me. I do want to see if that's another bullet weapon. Gatling Slugger. Gatling Slugger is pretty good. It's probably better than uh, the other shotgun. We still took hyper rifle. Okay, this is this is okay. We're alive at least, and, and I'm feeling positive about my life. So we're gonna our our main weapon is gonna be right click. Yes, this is correct. Why why where's that car going? Hey, you got a permit for that thing? Right click is gonna be our go-to. Uh, because we have more ammo for it, basically. Obviously, we're running out fairly quickly, but we do have Recycle Gland. So the dream is that we'll be able to get more. Laser Minigun, I'll admit, sounds awesome with Eagle Eye. But I think our best choice is, is straight up two bullet weapons. But would we rather have Gatling Slugger or Laser Minigun? Well, I have beaten the game. with well, I've, I've looped with uh, Gatling Slugger before. Heavy Slugger. Won't be as automatic, but maybe it will be actually because of the uh, the fact that I'll have um, the ability to just right click and make it automatic I suppose well, well it'll be interesting to see I'm trying to think about this critically we got another uh, mutation coming up soon we're killing pretty much everything in a single hit which is nice and when we start firing these automatically I think that's gonna cause some serious problems for <gasps> I've really that's such a bad habit I know the energy sword could be good, but I don't think we need it. Bloodlust is definitely what we want here, in my opinion at least. It's such a bad habit to shoot at them once and then just like never, uh, never shoot at them again. Assuming that they've died. Yeah, we can fire that, uh, <laughs> we can empty the, the whole entire, uh, like lifetime amount of bullets pretty much instantly with the, the hyper rifle, so we gotta be a little careful about that. And by a little careful, I mean, like, seriously, we need to guard it with our life. This is where... It's alright, we'll get it back soon. This is where, like, all of those mutations that, that help us with ammo are gonna come in here. The thrown butt. The things that are not thrown butt, but are also useful. Jackhammer. I probably should have skipped that, but I wanted the rads. Sue me. Good stuff. 
brain is on like commentary brain is on autopilot this is this is where you want it to be so if we can maintain this ammo then we're in a very very good position leading up to the next uh, the next area of the game where things get very very spammable yo okay this is where we fight clear out as much of the space as we can we're still alive <laughs> I'm not going to say we're doing super hot. We got him. We got him. Don't explode near me. Don't explode near me. Okay, we used a lot of ammo there, but that's second stomach helping us out. Actually, we didn't use that much ammo. We used a lot of hyper rifle ammo. But, uh, you know, the heavy slugger is still putting out a lot of damage here. The problem... Sorry, it's gas. No, it's heavy slugger. The problem with heavy slugger is that we have to be right next to the enemy to actually hit them. It actually is a serious issue when you talk about, like, you know, the fact that we're going to have to fight the throne, right? Plasma rifle. So we we definitely have to make sure that we've got uh, that we've got ammo for our hyper rifle because that's our, our weapon at a distance, which is important. We got another mutation coming up. There's no weapon that there's no mutation that gives you like better range though. So gotta be scared. I didn't realize that the heavy um, slugger has such a terrible range. I'd like to replace it with. Well, I don't really want to... Ah, no, 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 there's reds! I don't really want to replace it with a sawed-off. Um, I, I guess we'll take Plutonium Hunger for now. Yo, it's a real problem here. I think we're about to die. As far as dailies go, that one's not that bad. Um, I learned a little bit. But I will say that's still a little bit of a dis disappointing performance, but at least I made it past Little Hunter, you know? I, I kind of feel like I want to do some melting runs to practice, like, not having the ability to take a hit. Whew. All right. I, I, can, I can feel okay about that one. That was a, a very, um, I don't want to say very, but it was an admirable performance. We'll restart that one. Uh, it was a pretty admirable performance, at least. I guess I've, I've learned something. It's not been my day, man. Um, I guess we've learned something, though, and that, that something is that, uh, you know, you really need to keep that hyper-rifle ammo if you're going to try to use it to spam in the in the labs. Because we ran out super quickly. And then we had to, well, or you just have a, a backup weapon that's a little bit more spammable. Even the plasma rifle might have been preferable there, but it's disappointing, but I still feel pretty good about our overall performance, at least on the steroids run. Mm-hmm. Bloodlust, absolutely essential if we're going to be doing the Bloodlust uh, Strong Spirit run, and I'd like to give it at least the old college try anyway. Now, if there is a benevolent god in the universe, and he's a fan of us, we are really going to want to see Strong Spirit. If we get Strong Spirit, then, you know, all's forgiven. We've actually got a, a genuine chance of making this run work. Especially if they give us Throne Butt right after. I just want to see if maybe there was something more up there. There's not. That's okay. Level 3. This would be a good time for Strong Spirit. I'll take Plutonium Hunger. But I'll admit that I was very tempted to take uh, Patience. And just be like, you know what? Give us a second chance at getting, um, at getting Strong Spirit. This early. But, the assumption, I guess, is that um, we, we are going to want... Plutonium hunger at some point anyway, because we're going to be killing enemies from far away. So we might as well take it now, um, just in case it doesn't show up later. And as long as we survive, it doesn't matter. And if we don't survive, well, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, because if we uh, if we got hit, we would have been dead with patience. Either way, so it's quite a lot of radiation here. We got another mutation. Strong spirit, please. Mm -mm. Patience showed up again, and this time it was a much more viable selection. Uh, but I chose Impact Wrists instead, because... I, You know, what can I say? Impact Wrists, Melting, Wrench... Feels good, man. Plus, we actually have the ability to, to work with it. Thank you. As a result of... Um, plutonium Hunger, so it's not going to cost us too much. Probably. That's a big probably. Please hit level 5 here. Every every floor we go through, we got to get mutations, man. Now we need is just a little mutation. Sing it with me. You all know it. 
I've been walking the streets at night. Anyway, uh, this has not been uh, a great performance as melting so far, but you kind of expect it, you know? Why, why did I choose melting? Maybe this is, you know, part of my problem here, choosing melting when I'm like, I need a win! But, I, I, the playstyle, man, the playstyle, it feels like I'd be interested. There we go! We got a mutation. Well, this is actually, if you can only choose one of the, like, prerequisite, this is what you need to win as melting mutations, at least if you suck. Just wanted to make sure we had the right weapon combination there. Uh, this is kind of, well, it's the one that you want. Olivia Newton John style. There's a let's get physical joke in there somewhere, probably instead, but you know, you could repurpose that, repackage that as you see fit. Level 3. Uh, I can't remember if we saw the rad canister, but it doesn't really matter. Now, if we get Bloodlust on top of this, we got Bloodlust and Strong Spirit. I'm gonna take Throne Butt over Rabbit Paw, and it might make me very stupid to do this. But I'm gonna do it because we can now blow stuff up in an even bigger fashion, and that always excites me. Hello, Kate. How's, how's it going? It smells bad. What does that mean? Hurry it up? Why? There's an emergency? What? Why are there always freaking emergencies when I'm playing Nuclear Throne every freaking time? Oh my god, well, we'll go until like, there we go. I'll be back. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.